Foundation. I am Shadi Ola, your anchor, and today we're going to be talking about joint accounts between couples. We want to look at the advantages and the disadvantages. To talk extensively on this, I have a guest in the studio. You'll get to meet my guest later on. We're going to go on a very quick break and we'll be right back. One solution to Nigeria problem. I'm not giving you any solution. Okay. Those people that call the problem, let them go and find out how to solve the problem. Make everybody do your work, I suppose you do them. Nepal and police, which one you like, pass? Two of them are December, I don't like any of them. Police team makes sense because they need to protect us. Organ and Nepal show pass. They be devil and like Satan. And they tell you, person go just carry a bill because tell you, say you the whole 70,000. Imagine, yeah, the way we say we pack come to last two months. Oh. Maybe that they look say the former house where they live wait for pack come, you they hope for them. I made mean, <laughs> Yeah, your own. That super scream TV, they happen. Welcome back to the show. I have with me in the studio a financial expert, a banker, Mr. Shola Labi. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure, sir. So we want to talk about uh, joint accounts between couples. I want you to explain to our viewers in a layman's language the way they would really understand it. What is the meaning of a joint, say, a joint account between couples? What does it mean? Thank you. Um, um, joint account, like the name sounds, um, is a bank account owned and shared by two or more people, by two or more individuals. Okay. When I go, when I approach a bank to open an account, that will be single individual. Okay. Maybe I may, I may decide to open. A, a current or a savings account but when we have uh, maybe a friend joining me or uh, a spouse joining me then it makes it a joint account okay so is um, a bank account basically that is shared uh, between more than two people okay two or more people really okay so it's a bank account that is shared between two or more people yes is it advisable for co uh, couples to operate a joint account sir do you think it's advisable for couples to operate a joint account well uh, before we can even advise or otherwise that will leave the choice to viewers okay uh, i think it would be nice to even get some understanding okay. of what joint account the modalities the how is operated okay um, so that that will guide um, viewers from taking decision on whether it's appropriate or mm. it's not um, exactly right. And they won't say they want to do it because somebody else is yes has exactly. put in a joint account. Oh, yes. so so person has a joint account. Ah, I want to do it too with my husband. Yes. So it's important for them to know the rudiments. Yes. Um, well, joint account. Um, you need to think deeply hmm. before going into it. Because um, uh, if you if you approach any bank today, you want to open a um, joint account. Yes. For example, in this our case now, with my spouse, and um, it, basically they are going to ask you to provide the normal account opening documents okay. for their documentation, uh, your means of identification, your um, utility bills, so they can verify where you claim to be living exactly and um, BVN okay for all the part okay for like both. the normal banking protocol for normal, for normal savings exactly. accounts or current accounts so yes. still the same documents they are going to yes they're going to request from you so uh, most banks will request that you um, all the people in this case now that the husband and the wife should be present Okay. Uh, at the opening, not okay. um, to stand as a prosy while the opening. So um, you expect the two of them. They have to be there. 
okay. have to be there okay. in person okay. and uh, do the normal form filling and um, handing over of um, documents like I have mentioned and some of that has um, decided by the bank, okay. the particular bank. Okay. So once it's opened, um, before, like your question, is, uh, the question you asked is, is, is that, that is advisable? Like, like, and I is said that time for them to know, to know what they're going into. Exactly. Now, um, joint account. Yes, sir. <laughs> joint account is everybody is f fully has the right to op operate it. Like okay. the spouse, you and your spouse, you have a joint account. You individually you have the equal right, rights. equal equal and full rights right. okay. to operate the account. Okay. That is you don't need my permission to withdraw money. Okay. Or deposit money okay. in, in such account. Okay. So um so each individual can deposit, withdraw, withdraw. operate on his own his or, or, or yes. her own. Though um, to avoid uh, to prevent some avoidable chaos, yeah. so to say, between couples. I know between partners in this uh, joint account opening, uh, I know bank has put some, you know, some, they've added some conditions or put some processes in place, okay. like this coming together to open the account, or oh, who is going to be the primary holder of the account, or oh, um, should the two sign? or either to sign or mm. both to sign when you say either to sign that means either the husband or the wife can okay. sign into the account to withdraw money from the account okay but if you say both should sign um that means the two of them must append the signature to before if it's a checking account can take money exactly. out of the account yes before you can take money but all those ones um all those are just processes those are just guides okay. from by banks to put in place just to check um unnecessary ambiguity okay, okay. in the operation of such account. accounts in law yes sir that account anybody has the right to pull funds out of it okay and to deposit so you if you get to your account and the account is empty you cannot say, oh, um, I, uh, I'm not aware. Okay. Or I will not carry that long when you are going to withdraw money. money. No. Okay. You are responsible to whatever hmm. transaction that... So basically, it, ha it, ha it has to involve a lot of maturity and it, trust. Yes. That is just the basic maturity and underlining trust. You know, requirement for operating uh, such account Couples. between couple. couples. But in your own opinion now would you advise couples to have this kind of accounts or you would prefer they have single separate accounts sir well um it, it has the cons and the pros it has disadvantages and um, advantages so they have to weigh the two sides so, so it depends on the couple the couple will have to weigh okay. um i like that but yes. Opening a joint account is based on trust yes. and familiarity. Hmm. You must know how your spouse spends. Hmm. You must know his spend style. Is it the type that is spent thrift? It goes to goes window shopping and the next thing is buying on impulse. Hmm. So you have to consider, uh, you have to, you have to consider all, all that, that in taking a decision, decision. so that there will be no pro there will be no problem okay. in the in the home. Okay. And um advantages yes, talking sir. about the advantages, advantages yes uh, access to fund okay especially some um when some expenses have to be made okay in the home front okay and uh, you don't have to um, do so much uh, ritual ceremony in assessing funds fund. especially yes. when one is absent or one is incapacitated exactly so the other person will easily have access to fund okay. to you know, do some expenses so without paying the, the hospital bills. Exactly. So that's one of the advantages that we have um, that um, joint account can give. And um, 
um, it also brings trust between couple. Yes. Okay. You know. Thank you very much. It means uh, trust between couples. Couple. I think you've had part of the advantages. We're going to go on a very quick break, and we'll be right back. So stay with us. To have a joint account with your wife yes in a very this very interesting question as a christian in the book of amos 2 3 the bible says can two work together except they agreed as a christian right from the beginning it is god that choose for you it's god that choose for you you don't shoot by sight or by endowment it's good for you and ephesians chapter 5 verse 25 said that husband love your wife if it's true that you love your wife there is nothing that money is not your own it's our money it's not your own money whatever the thing you have belongs to you and your husband you and your wife there is no hidden things in it it's good to have joint account with your wife you also advise young couples to... i advise every young couple in nigeria those who are already in marriage those who are coming to the marriage they should try to choose by god they should allow god to choose for them they should allow God to choose. So it's not something that is easy for you to go and choose because someone that you cannot love, you cannot trust, don't go and choose him or her as your spouse. So you are saying now that if you don't trust them, the don't go and marry him or her. That is why, because if you cannot trust somebody, you know, entrusted something to his, for his disposal. It's not good. It's good for us as a Christian, husband and wife to have joint account. It's very good, very lucrative. It's acceptable before, before God, a Thank man. Would you like to have a joint account with your spouse? <laughs> no. Why? This present 21st century is a capital no. With all this sincerity, even if you, you trust your spouse 100%, it's still not ideal you have um, joint accounts based on my own understanding because some things might pop up and you will not have anything as an individual to fall back to and you'll be like with nothing and then everything will be in the accounts no you not start fighting for money and it's it's better when you want to do things you people will come together but based on account savings separate you can't, look my shit in. you can't advise anyone to go into the joint account uh, individual you know individual um difference individual idea me oh I cannot, but some people might like to do it. Would you like to have a joint account with your spouse? When you say spouse, you mean wife. I want to have a joint account with my wife. I would love to have because she will serve as a check and balance. Me on my own, you know, we are the Nigerian, we all have this fudgy lifestyle. We all want to live. I see one fine expensive car because I control my account. I want to get it. No, but my wife would be like, babe, don't you think we can do this before this? Skill of preference. Then she can act as checks and balance for me. She will help me control my finances. That's a wife. A wife. I can, 100%, I can do that. Because definitely, if I, if I want to spend extravagantly, she can tell me, no, this is not necessary. This is what we should do. You know, at that point, we both need our both signatures to get money right i can't get that money without her she can't get some money without me so we have to talk about it that babe we need this let's get this it's it's very ad advisable very, very advisable thank you very much yeah, yeah. Okay, sir would you have uh, like to have a joint account with your wife of course i really like i really like it would you advise him um, other couples to do the same i will do that because uh, it will create a trust within the the, the family. It will create um, at least bond. There will be bond, and uh, there will be no uh, this thing quarrel. Once you have a bond, a bond account, the joint account, 
if you don't trust your wife, you can't do that because you know behind you, she will just uh, go withdraw it and do anyhow with the money. But once you have it with her, because you trust your wife, you love her, you are free to do whenever she wants anything, she will let you know. Uh -huh. Whenever you want to use any money, she will let you know and you have to approve it because it's for the use of the family. So I will advise, let's do it. It's the love. The love will grow and the bond will be there. Don't you think there are disadvantages to this kind of um, action? There is a, there, there are. Any, any, any advantage, there is always a disadvantage. I believe that. So there are disadvantages, but the advantage, let's go for the advantage. But the advantage is bring more love, more bonds and uh, the family will grow and move forward. I mean, you believe the advantages are more than the disadvantages? Oh, yes, of course. They are, they are more than the disadvantage. So let's uh, do it well on the advantage. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Would you like to have a joint account with your wife, sir? Yeah, that's a very interesting question. For me, it both yes and no. The first one, yes, in the sense that there are certain things that you must do together as husband and wife. For instance, I want to build a house. It's not me alone that will be living in the house. It's me and my wife and my children. So for that sort of um, purpose, we should put our resources together so that all of us will contribute and we have a sense of ownership, belonging, and title, which is very important. Uh, on the other hand, no. For instance, I want to get a pair of trousers. I want to take ice cream. I should be able to do that without necessarily, I mean, bothering my wife. But if, on the other hand, he sees a trouser that he wants to buy for me on our own, buys it, or he see a banana, bring it to the house, all well and good. So because of purposes like that, he should also have an account where he can easily access, buy oranges the way she likes, buy to my, to my, I myself, buy my own uh, uh, I mean, uh, Coke and Fanta the way I like. So that's the reason why it is both yes and no. For me, a good house should have the two types of account. But be that as this may, some other people may feel otherwise and they may hold on. That's too much. Madam, would you like to have a joint account with your spouse? Ha, I wouldn't like to because based on the experience I've had, I would never want to have a joint account with my husband. Can you share this with us briefly? Uh, there is a particular man in my area that had a joint account. And their marriage is like 25 years now. When the woman just, the woman came up with it, some, uh, something. He withdraw all the money in the accounts and left the man <laughs> with nothing. But the man has to start all over again. Although they stay together in the house, but they live like a cat and rats in the house. They, they don't talk to each other. Because the woman did it basically uh, because he had the man is about to have another woman. So she took a decision without letting the man know. So it's very, very risky to uh, have a joint account. It's better you run your life individually rather than say, joining it together. Because you don't know human beings can change. Human beings, <laughs> they have a lot of characters that they develop overnight. No matter how, when you start your love on something, as long run, at the long run, something comes up, will come up that you can just decide on your own to have your life to yourself, even allowing your spouse to, to have it with you. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah.
we're talking about joint account between couples. So I want you to follow the discussion as we're going on. So, sir, what are the disadvantages of couples having a joint account, operating a joint account together? Well, uh, earlier in my discussion, I, I briefly mentioned um, a situation where one of the a couple is a spendthrift, for example. Yes. Uh, that could bring um, some um, argument in the homes. And then, um, because it's based on trust, really, you, you, it will require um, understanding, okay. understanding okay. Of, of, um, of the couple. It will require very serious understanding of self. Hmm. And then, uh, let me shock you. If one of the couples, if one of the couple is, is for example, uh, holding another bank, okay, we can charge that account. That's why the father is a joint account. Oh. For example, we have the uh, what we call uh, global standing instructions now, in such a way that um, if you are holding a bank, and you and you go to another bank where you have money. And you are not paying the bank where you are, where your obligation is, hmm. only to be keeping money in another bank. The um, global standing instruction that is called GSI clause yes. uh, allows the other bank that you are holding, where you have obligation, oh. to charge on the, where you are having money. So if the other account is a joint account, without your spouse even knowing that you, are, you have obligation to settle in another bank, hmm. they can put a charge on that, on that, on that, on on that, that account, joint account to pay back the loan that you are owing in another. So, wow. because, you cannot say because it's a joint account, it is, you have, uh, the belief is that you have equal right and equal, and equal uh, access to that fund. So they can make a charge on that account. So that's one of the uh, of disadvantages, disadvantages of, um, of, of, of opening a joint, joint account. account. Okay. So uh, I want to digress a little now. Okay. Uh, in cases where uh, couples operate separate accounts, mm. is it uh, compulsory for each of them to know the balance of each other's account? Is it compulsory? compulsory? Because in a joint account, mm. you have all these details. You know what goes in, you know what goes out, you know the alerts, you, know, you see the alerts, and mm. you know what is op uh, operational. But yeah. when it's a separate account, you don't know. Do so you think it's compulsory? It's, it's also, you know, all, especially finance in home. Hmm. Um, finance, once a couple can manage their... Um, finances. When it, once a couple can manage its finances very well, yeah. the other thing I think is very easy because most of the time you find out that most um, problems that homes have hmm. is um, from finance, finance. and um, and finance is basically on trust. So if I claim that I don't have money in my account, you should believe that I don't have. But exactly. if, you have, if, if you have the feeling that, oh, he has, but only that he doesn't want to give, then that, that's distrust. And um, now coming back to your question, yes, to know whether... We, um, because some people will opt for a, a, a personal account because yes. the husband will not know, and, and let me also, know what they have. Let me also tell you that even when you have... From, from my own opinion, if you ask me to give my candid opinion... Yes, sir. Even aside from having a um, personal account, it's also good that we have, um, I mean, joint account. Okay. And when you have joint account too, it's also good that you we have, have personal, personal account. account. Uh, um, for me, so. I have a personal account, and uh, likewise my wife has. Okay. And we have an account that we have together. Okay. So, uh, yes, that is really we, 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 she yes. receives a lot. Of what happens on that account, I hold the card into that account. I can draw from it, and she can also draw from it. So, um, if it's um, to know the balance, that will be left for the couple. But I don't see any reason. You know, when the love is there, what is the meaning of a couple? Yes. That so they have be become one. one. Yes. That is my understanding. So, exactly. If they so. get themselves properly, I don't see why, how. 
um, knowing the balance of your account will cause problems. So for me, I don't see anything wrong in, um, in, the, in, the, in the either of the couple knowing each other's balances in their account. Thank you, sir. Uh, I, I have a friend. She runs a joint account with the husband. And I'm telling you, she said it's the best thing that ever happened to her. But the problem she's having now is she's saying that her husband is a spent thrift. He loves to buy. He loves to spend money and, you know, things like that. This kind of friend that I have, how can we help such a person? Because she loves the joint account. She feels secured running that joint account with her husband. Okay, well, like, you know, I mentioned it in the early time in, of this discussion, that uh, where a, one of these couple is a um, spendthrift. Yes. How can, can you manage such a For you to have even gotten to a level where you sit uh, back to say, oh, honey, let's open one account, the joint account. There must be a level of trust, trust and understanding. level of understanding, understanding. and love yes. between them. So I, love that. I believe that um, love and understanding. you know, joint account is easier said than done. Hmm. Is this that when money enters a relationship, is then you know uh, the true character of that person. Of that person, like uh, Yoruba days, we used to say that uh, it's money that will spoil the faces of uh, friends. Uh, so, <laughs> so is um, is then you know um, what uh, true love means. Exactly. So in that, when you know that your husband is a spendthrift, the best thing you can do is to sit him down okay. and talk to him. Let him also see, especially when you are using this joint account for a particular purpose, like account savings. You are savings towards a project. You are savings towards um, school fees. Uh, school fees. You want to build you a house. You, a house. you want to, you want to buy. You want to buy a, 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 you know a utility vehicle for house so for the house use. Exactly. So you need to discuss. You need to you know mm. discuss in down. bed. To you need to understand. make him understand and let him see reasons why you should minimize. Why you should be more frugal at spending. So that I think that's the only, only and the, to the best of my you know knowledge the 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 approach the best approach that is available for her well, in case of a divorce sir, between the couples in case of a mm. divorce is there a sharing formula <laughs> well uh, in case of divorce yes sir the trust is broken already exactly and so is there a sharing formula let because me tell you joint account we all put money in yes. we all get money out of the account so now we are saying okay you go your way i want to go my own way so what is the sharing formula you know i said something is it the amount you put in you're going to take out you know i, I said something i said barring whatever um whatever <laughs> process Exactly. That um, the bank might have put in place to checkmate, you know, to curtail um, spendings yes, sir. in the account. The first, let me shock you, the first person to have access to that fund okay. takes off. Uh, that is it. And, so and, the first person and to, in case of a divorce, the if, first person if, to if, access that money yes, takes all. Takes all. Wow. And uh, if you like, you go to court you, in, the, in the law of joint account. If they have a core unhindered access to that money, to okay. the money in the account. Okay. So the first person to, but because of things that a bank has put in place, maybe, oh, two to sign, oh, the other person must be present before you can, oh, or the two of them are. So they put all those things in place to okay. checkmate yes. all these. So in that case, then they may be there, um, there may be a way out. Uh, so that the two of them will have a win-win situation that the money could be shared. Yes. But in real sense of a joint account, uh, the it's first person... Of, uh, any, uh, Yoruba people will say, any yara lugumbe. Exactly. So, so the first, the first person, person to, to lay his hand on that one that, um, that, will, that has it, really. Thank you very much, sir. We're going to go on a very short break, and we'll be right back. Stay with us.
welcome back to the show. You're still on you are what you are still on with a super screen television, and we're talking about joint accounts with within couples. So you heard it when we went before we went for the break. That your back will say any Okay, that when you operate a joint account, in case of a divorce or there's a problem, the first person to get to the bank, the first person to lay hands on that uh, money in the account is the one that goes with the whole money in the account. So we want to I also want to ask from you, sir. What happens in the case in case a partner dies? What mm. what happens? Yes, um, when when one of the couple dies, uh, at the setting of an account, there are two. Um, um, I am not a lawyer, but when you know in your career too, there are some element of law in every career. Definitely, sir. I've got to yeah. you know get acquainted with. Yes. Um, there is. A right, right of survivorship, right of survivorship. Yes. Okay. That's and right uh, that means, if that is what is the account is being, the joint account is being operated. Okay. It means the surviving partner okay. takes everything in the account. Okay. Automatically. But I hope it's not a bottleneck, a broken no, sort no, of no, thing. No, 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 no. He has to come and fill no. some forms. I hope no. he is. Uh, no. The, 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 the only thing he, the person has to do is to provide certifi death certificate to okay. the bank. Okay. When you provide the cert death certificate to the bank, that will enable them to change the name now to the strictly to the name of the survivor. Okay. For example, okay. if the husband dies, um, and the wife comes with the certificate, death certificate. That certificate will now enable the bank to change. You know, the name of the account could be Mr. Shola and Mrs. Lola okay. Alabi. Okay. So now that uh, one has gone, okay. they will now be Mrs. So 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 so. so. Okay. You understand? So. That, that that once you can provide the certificate okay, of, of death uh, passage, okay, then okay. that will be sorted. That's okay. the case where the underlining um, underlining pro procedure that has been set at the opening of the account is right of survivorship. There is another one called um, tenancy in common. Okay, tenancy in common. Uh, in that case everything will be shared 50-50. So okay. if the couple dies, if, I mean, if one of the couple dies, okay. one of the couple that is the, the, the that is alive will only take 50% of whatever they have. So the remaining 50% The remaining 50 percent will now be given to whoever is the beneficiary. Oh. And, and in some cases, that beneficiary will mostly be like the the, the other, the, other, the spouse. Okay. So you, you see, but in some other partnerships, some other joint account, well, maybe between friends, so uh, that one could go to the family of that person. Okay. Or to his children or whatever has been said. So that is another uh, one. So the first one is a uh, right of survivorship, and the other one is tenancy in common. Okay. So those are the two. Um, Two procedures that are guiding uh, splitting accounts okay. um, at the passage of one of the of the partners in the okay. of the parties in the joint account. So between couples, who should bear the brunch? Should spend more? Mm. Maybe the, the husband is working. Let's uh, the wife too is working. Who is supposed to spend more? Is it are they supposed to share things equally, or who is supposed to bear the brunch? Um, well, brunch. I don't want to call it brunch. But okay. when it happens, <laughs> when <laughs> there's need for uh, um, what, the, the, the other is to serve the help meet. You know, we... I like that, sir. The understanding... The woman the, is the, the help meet. So, so that the nakedness of the man will not, not be, be seen. seen. Yes. Financial nakedness or whatever. So... But that does not take the man away from his from his, his basic responsibility as the head of the family. family. So, uh, pay school fees. There are times that my wife pays school fees. Okay, that's beautiful. 
So um, I I would just say ah there ah well our school fees say ah she has already paid. Hmm. You know, so one. it depends on the understanding between, and between trust. the two between couples. You between can do couples. anything. You can. Yes. You can. Everything is possible, really. Yes. Between couple, you know, it's just be, it's trust and understanding. Understanding and love and love. We, uh, the, the, you know, love is built on trust. Exactly. And uh, for me, there is nothing like love. Love hmm. doesn't exist. But when you see attribute of trust and faithfulness in marriage. That's what builds up love. So love is built in a home. Oh. So uh, the brunch is not a brunch, really. It's okay. Anybody can anybody take, can. can take the responsibility. But man also should not take Leave on everything. due advantage that oh, because my wife has you know um, has been doing it. Yes, she's has been uh, helping out. Yes, let me just give a happy hand. Give let it to just, her to do. Let 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 him let her now <laughs> continue to do it. I, if I don't do it, I have a wife that will do. That is the side of your responsibility. Yes, what are the legal consequences of a uh, of ha of having a joint account? Well, legal consequences. I have mentioned some of them. You okay. know, I mentioned. In fact, all this wife, you know, if you observed, I've been. Discussing some legal consequences, which is uh, maybe a bit different from uh, the uh, what we is obtainable in a bank exactly. operations. I think I said because one bank has put some things, but like I said, that one does not take it away that whether you are signatories or you're not signatories, that if money, if somebody, you know, in fact, let me also shock you again that as a, as. As, as the husband of the house, okay. I can decide to go to bank and close the account. Hmm. A joint account? Yes. Without notification or discussion yes. with the, with the, with the that wife? That is one of the legal... Uh, wow. this, I can go there and close the account. The only thing I cannot do is to take, to take my wife out. Hmm. And say, oh, my wife is no longer part of this account. No. But I can close the account. Likewise, my wife can also go behind me and close the account. Wow. That's the beauty of a joint account. Uh, so, is, um, you know, joint account has saved a lot of life, really. And then, yeah. uh, I have seen in my, you know, in my career, I've seen where a man, you know, even I've seen most, more cases where people were being wheeled from hospital just to come and turn print in bank to access funds. Oh. Oh. That should not be. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't so be. these are some of the stress that joint account would, would save us from. Exactly. So exactly. If that, like I said, even if you have individual accounts, it's still good that we have a joint, joint account. account. A joint that account. Each that um, the uh, um, either of the couple can have access yes. or either access to funds as necessary. We're going to go on a very short break, and we'll be right back. Stay with us.
Jesus, you're my lover. Yeah. You're my bright morning star, sweet as love to come my way. Ain't nobody like you are, and I'm gonna love you all the way. You're my bright morning star, sweet as love to come my way. Ain't nobody like you are, and I'm gonna love you all the way. Yeah. Welcome back to the show. I'm learning new things. Really, I'm learning new things. And I know you're also learning new things too on this show because this is just beautiful. So I just want to know what measures really can we put in place for couples who desire to have this joint account? From your explanation, I know some people want to, oh, this joint account, I want to have a joint account. What can, because I'm also interested now. What measures can we put in place now? for people that want to put, go into having a, this joint account? Okay, uh, why you say To curb excesses now. now. Okay. Yes. Okay, measure to curb excesses. Excesses. Um, you know, when you approach the bank, okay. and um, you tell the account officer there what, um, what your intentions are, if you are saving towards um, for a, a project, for example. So you can, for example, you can, um, you can request that a lot be made for both of you. Okay. So that you can request for an alert, alert for the two of you. For the two of so you. So each time you, he withdraws, you know. Yes, each time you withdraw, withdraws, she knows. You, everybody know. Everybody. We are. You, yes. You, the two of them. Okay. Are on the same That's page. That's the first one. Um, that is, you have. Yes. At times they tell you that oh, the two of it's you cannot have too. SMS alert. One can have SMS alert and the other one email alert. Good. But okay. essentially, once. Um, a debit goes, and then the two of you too can also um, request for um, debit card. You know, you can request for debit card so okay. that at any time you just want to check the balance on the account okay. on your own. You'll okay. be able to check, and then uh, really for you, like I, I, I keep hammering trust. It's trust for you to have even entered that list. Definitely, yes. So. SSCs or no SSCs, you, can't, you should be able to sit together and talk, talk over, it over it and agree. Because what you have a common goal. Yes. And that's the essence. Um, that's, the, that's, that's why you open that account. account. So you should talk to each other and then make sure you, uh, you achieve the goal. What's your advice for, viewer, for our viewers? Well, uh, viewers, I think uh, you've heard me. Okay. Um, joint joint account is 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 good. I know some of us will have operated joint account. Yes. And um, you can bear witness, can attest to it that um, there are some benefits. Um, it depends on the way you look at it. The benefits may outweigh the disadvantages for you, yeah. and some will be looking at it from the angle of disadvantage. So it depends on what you really want, really. So, he, I advise that notwithstanding your private, your individual account, checking or savings account, 
I want you to see, try joint account with your with your spouse, and it it, it, it will help you to build trust in each other, and it, it, it will also strengthen your relationship. Okay. It's just an advice. It's not. Um, it's not compulsory. It's not. It's I'm just not an advice. It it's just my advice. <laughs> yes, sir. And I love that. Thank you very much, sir. Thank, Thank you for you. coming on the show. I appreciate for having me. Thank you, our lovely viewers at home, the office, wherever you are. Thank you for watching this episode of Family Affairs on Super Screen Television. Until next time when we bring another episode your way. I am Shadiola, and I'm saying...